Hey guys, I'm Zen and welcome back to the basement Dano Dungeon. Okay, so today I have actually gathered all my Japanese minute figures, okay, from this shelf. This shelf is actually used to put all my small little Japanese sea animals. Today we've actually received two Arctic animals right here, okay? So they're not sea animals, but I thought we can open these two up. They were actually sent to ours by a dance safari and at the same time we'll take a look at this beautiful figurines together. Okay, so let's do this. Alright guys, so let's begin by having a look at this little figure right here. I think this figure it's um yeah this figure it's a wolf. It seems to be a wolf. Let's see, let's see. Let's have a look. Let's open this up, it's from Bandai, you can see, and there are actually four different couple of designs to choose from, very adorable, definitely, let's have a look, okay, you basically have this little, it looks like a penguin, a seal, a wolf, polar bear, penguin, we have some of them, okay, and this is basically a wolf, I guess, or is it like a Siberian husky? Beautiful. Arctic wolf, probably. And this one, it's a jungle animal. It's not an Arctic wolf. Yeah, we've got a couple of these figures as well in the past. I think they are really beautiful, really awesome figures. Okay, so this one, it seems to be a wolf to me and they're all sitting down. Very, very adorable. Okay, so what we are going to do next, let's have a look at all the other figures, okay? So these two are brand new. Have you guys seen this one before? It looks really good. It's basically some penguin chicks. Okay, it comes with a base with the name written right below, which is awesome. And here we have another penguin. A deli penguin, you can see it comes with this little base. Beautiful figure. Which manufacturer actually made this? I think it's um I can't remember, but it's really really beautiful. Next we have an octopus right here. Let's see whether there is any name written on the figure. Apparently not. So beautiful octopus. This one, it's a leopard seal, and you can see it's chasing after a poor penguin. Yep, that's right. Let's have a look at this. Leopard seal. There's a penguin that is chasing. Really beautiful one. Okay, next, we have a figure from Takara Tomi. It is a saw shark, and you can see it comes with a movable tail. So saw sharks, they like to use this, uh, basically like to use this as a tool to actually capture its prey, to saw the prey up into different pieces. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Gorgeous stuff. Next, what do we have right here? I think this is an Atlantic blue fin tuner, if I'm not wrong. Doesn't have um, the name. Okay, next up, we have just reviewed this in our previous video. Really beautiful one. You can see it is like a humpback whale. Gorgeous dwarf. Some barnacles right here. It's really cute. Um, it's kind of tough as well. It's a hollow figure. Okay, next we have a squid right here. A squid. Okay. And this one, I can't remember. It looks like a red snapper. I think so. Beautifully well detailed. Love this. I like this one a lot. This one is super adorable. A whale shark. You can see the mouth is wide open. It is basically a filter feeder. Gorgeous stuff. We have a sailfish. Okay. Beautiful sailfish. You can see it has a very, very sharp spear right here. This figure, I can't remember which manufacturer actually made this. Probably from Kyoto, I'm not too sure. And here is another really beautiful one. Okay. This Wing Ching. Okay, a brand called Wing Ching. Very, very realistic minifigures, I would say. Emperor Penguin and a Chick. 
Yep, a young emperor penguin. This one, if I'm not wrong, um, I think it's a whale shark. Is this a whale shark? I think so. I think this is a whale shark. Should be. I think this should be a whale shark. I think so. Okay, and this one, it's um, oh dear. This, it's a whale shark, and this one, I can't remember, it's a kind of shark as well, but I can't remember what type of shark it is. Hmm. This is a mega mouth, you know, this is a mega mouth, and this is a whale shark. Yeah, that's right, I got both of them mixed up. And we have the hammer head, it comes with a movable tail, and a movable head, from Takara Tomi Arts, it's a gastropod. Next, we have a really beautiful one right here, Flatfish. So you can see it has two eyes on one side, but on the other side, it is basically empty. Okay, and they actually stay flat, lying on the ocean seafloor. Very, very weird, weird kind of fish. Next, we have a sea turtle from Takara Tomi Arts. Really beautiful figure. Comes with display stand. Okay, sea turtle. I've seen all of this, let's move on to the next one. This one I think it's a um palm head brass. Looks so adorable with the thick lips. Beautiful coloration on this figure. And we have this sawfish, saw shock right here. Another hammer head. Okay. This one is a really beautiful one. From where is this from? Let's see. It's from Kyoto. Ikimon. A dolphin. Probably a bottlenose dolphin. This is a sperm whale. Beautiful one. You can see you can easily recognize it by its squarish head. Another one from Ikimon. Humpback whale. Gorgeous stuff. This one, oh dear, I can't remember the name of this. Um, I'll come back to this later on. This is definitely an Oka. Killer Will. Let's have a look at this cute and adorable figure right here. Okay, this one, it should be a spotted suit. Super adorable, sleeping. Yeah, it's basically sleeping, super cute. And this one, if I'm not wrong, is a sand tiger shark. Yeah, sand tiger shark, based on its colors. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Here's another really beautiful one. I think this is a bass, large mouth bass. Beluga whale right here. Beautiful beluga whale. They can actually use echolocation. And this figure is also from Ikimon. One of the largest mini statuettes in our collection is this Orcar. Really beautiful one. Killer Will. Oxenus Orcar is the scientific name. And you can see it has a very long dorsal fin right in the middle. Very, very beautiful figure. I love how they have actually crafted this little base. It looks like a museum piece. And here we have a very beautiful great white shark. Yeah, can actually open its mouth like this. Gorgeous stuff. Okay, this one, it's a... Um, goblin shark. That's right. It's a goblin shark. I think they have made a really, really kind of um, accurate looking. Yep, because the mouth can be open. Beautiful. Goblin shark, and here's another great white. So you have you have two different great whites. Let's try to open his mouth. You can see we have two identical great whites, but different in color. The scalp is basically the same. Yeah, gorgeous stuff. And both of them are actually from gashapons, like little vending machines. And here we have a small little rock hopper. Penguin. Yeah, this is basically 
the last figure. Did I miss out any figure? I think this is the one that I have no idea. I think this is known as the um. I'm not too sure Pacific White Cider Dolphin. Probably I'm not too sure. So if you guys know, let me know down below. Okay, I'm gonna choose like maybe five of my most favorite figures from this video. Okay, I'm gonna choose one of this because it looks super adorable, very, very cute and adorable. So that's number one. I'm gonna select one of this wolf as well because they are so cute. So one of this Siberian Husky. Um, so second one, I'm gonna choose another one. I'm gonna choose a Goblin Shark. This one is really nice. I love all these figures. They're really hard for me to find. Got them all from you know online store. Okay, so that's the third one. Let's choose another one. I like this all car as well. Really gorgeous stuff. Have to import them directly from Japan. This one has got to be one of my favorite as well. Alright, so that's about it guys. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. This is basically my small collection of um Japanese mini animal figurines. I hope to add more to my collection. So stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.